In this video, I'm going to do a, a quick explanation of uh, evaporation and how it works, and then a, a demonstration to kind of illustrate how it works. So, so the definition of evaporation is that a liquid becomes a gas below the boiling point. And, and how that occurs, uh, it, it relies on uh, the molecular level and the randomness, because the definition of temperature is average kinetic energy. So uh, when the average kinetic energy is, say, 20, as in, in, the, in the case of uh, the, uh, the ambient temperature here, so when the, when the average kinetic energy is 20, some of those molecules are going faster, some of those molecules are going slower, but the average is 20. So evaporation works when uh, some set of circumstances occur so that one of those liquid molecules suddenly receives enough energy to break the bonds and escape as a gas. And then the conditions of the, uh, of the gas and the air around it whisk that molecule away and the energy is lost. So we can, we can see that um, in, in when I have these thermometers wrapped in paper towels and one is, is, is not wrapped in a paper towel. So I'm gonna wet this one and the water is the same temperature as, as the room. So this thermometer came out of the water. So if I, if I wet the paper towel and let it uh, absorb the water, then the, the molecules of the glass now are striking the molecules of the paper towel. The one on the top is wet. And when it passes, when the glass molecules pass their energy into the water molecules, some of those water molecules then will escape as a gas. And in doing so, they're going to uh, take the kinetic energy uh, with them as they go. So we'll let this sit for a moment as the evaporation starts to take place. So you can see that the, uh, the temperature of the wet thermometer has dropped from, it was slightly above 20 to now it's a, it's a couple degrees below 20 um, or one and a half degrees below 20. So what happened? Well, the energy from the glass that is the, 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 the temperature of the thermometer, that energy went into the water molecules of the paper towel and some of those water molecules escaped. The molecules with the highest amount of energy are the most likely ones to escape. And they're, they're going to rise up into the, uh, into the air around the molecule. Some of those molecules will get whisked away and, and taken away and never you know, return the energy back to the thermometer. So that's the evaporation process. Those random occurrences when a, a molecule of a liquid will randomly bump up into uh, a kinetic energy state high enough to be a gas, then that gas uh, gets drifts away and takes the energy with it. So that, that net energy loss causes uh, the temperature to fall as we see as we see in the thermometer.